you get the idea. All right, so I got, this is gonna be part five of the state of my collection and I'm kind of taking a left turn here to check out something. I got a special request from somebody in the comments to see if I would check out my cleaver collection. So what I'm gonna do, today's video will be about my fixed blade cleavers. Not that I have a whole bunch of folders left over. I can't think of any folding cleavers do I have. Which ones do I have? I may have the Ganza, I may have one of those left, but I don't even think I have one of those left. Let me think here for a second. I think just maybe all fixed blade cleavers now. So this here, this is my Dexter. It is from their Santa Safe collection. And actually there is a group subscriber, a group member, buddy from the group that is a former chef. And he says that a lot of chefs use these in the professional world. And this thing's just a beast. This thing would go through a tree. This is something George Washington would have to have to lie about that he used the kitchen cleaver to take out the cherry tree check out this monster it's one of my favorites to use it's got a lot of heft to it so you're sitting there burning through meat and bone and whatnot and just a lot of it is momentum coming down so if you've ever used a cleaver and you're chopping stuff a lot a lot of times it's nice to have that momentum and it's not super super heavy although it is quite the beast so there it is that's one of my favorites the Dexter the Dexter Cleaver, kind of like the serial killer. His name was Dexter. I'm pretty sure he used a cleaver. Huh, makes you wonder. All right, so now I'm gonna go through them all. So this is a really inexpensive cleaver I got, and it's not really high on my list of favorites. I might have it on a Vipon coupon or something like that. And the problem with this one is, see how it's already cracking here? It doesn't take impact very well, and also, and also, okay, let me keep going through that. It's slippery, so if you got blood or fat, or grease on your hand, this doesn't want to hold in your hand very good. But I did say I would show everybody my cleaver. This is from Utopia Kitchen. I'm guessing that's kind of like a frost cutlery or something. Not one of my favorites, but it was inexpensive and it will cut. I'm just not sure how long I'm gonna be able to keep it with this handle cracking like it is. So maybe not maybe this is the least favorite of the ones that are going to be shown today so we'll put him out of way we'll put him in the back of the closet you know down in the basement he's the kind of guy that you throw you know rats to and he's making pets out of them until he gets angry and he's like <coughs> that's that cleaver all right so let's keep going let's see here all right now this this is a really inexpensive cleaver not super inexpensive but a really surprising cleaver. I mean, this thing needs to be sharpened. Hmm, I was banging on the marble with that thing. Okay, so I've traded this with a buddy and we made the trade. I figured what I traded, but I also wanted another cleaver. He knew I was a cleaver fan. And so we went with this. This is, check this out, the Victorinox. Let's see, I thought it was from a special collection, but it's made in Switzerland. Yodelay hee hoo. That's Switzerland. All right, a very cool cleaver, very useful. It's got a, it's light and it's got a really cool kind of chef feel to it. It's more of a utility cleaver than this monster. This is more for, you know, it's gonna get you through veggies and stuff real quick. It's not gonna take out bone. It's pretty, pretty lightweight. It's not that full tang, super beast. All right, let's keep moving here. We're gonna keep going through the. Oh, ooh, I can see my face. You don't want to do that. Check that out. Now you can see my camera set up. That's what's looking at you. All right. So you got the cold steel from their commercial series. This thing, this thing's a horrible monster. Check that out. Wow. This, I, the last brisket I did, I chopped with this thing. And you talk about momentum. You talk about just chopping through stuff. This is the one. This will go through bone and crunching and this is so much fun. This is one of the funnest cleavers I'm gonna have. Just a monster beast. Just a great, great cleaver. And really inexpensive is, is, as cleavers go. Actually, all these sitting here are very inexpensive. You're not gonna pay a whole lot of money on the cleavers here. Okay, now we 
do one more kitchen. No, I got a couple more kitchen cleavers. This one is one of my favorites. It was a birthday present from my dad, and he just kind of knew what I wanted. This is the Global Cleaver. It's super highly rated in one of those. It's uh, one, of, one of those uh, kitchen kind of a consumer report for kitchens. It's a big book, and they put out a website. If y'all learned the kitchen stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Country kitchen is that sound right? I don't know. Anyways, this thing is awesome. It's all one piece and just a beast. It's it is not too heavy and it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. I need to sharpen all these. I might be doing that tonight. Sharpening up my cleaver collection here and getting rid of that one. I don't know. All right, so that's the global. This is the G12 global cleaver. Just a beast. Just a, just feels good. It's that all that one piece. Very, very nice. Any of the global stuff is pretty nice, actually. So, all right, let's keep going. I don't know what's in this box. I have this box sitting over there. I'm pretty sure it's a cleaver, though. There's something in my brain saying cleaver. Let's check it out real quick. You know, a lot of these inexpensive knives and stuff you can get come in really cool packaging. So they make really good gifts for people. Let's see. Yeah, it's a cleaver. Look at this packaging that came with. I don't think this was that expensive. Oh, look at that. The wallop. Check that bad boy out. Obviously, I haven't used it. Holy freak. Look at that. VG10. Wow. Well, that's what I get for get forgetting about it. This thing is a monster. Man, it's sharp. So I don't know where it came from. I don't know anything about it. All I know is it's called the Wallop. But it's one of my clears, the Rock Series seven inch cleaver knife. So there you go. We'll leave that one out here. Let's see what y'all think of that. Put that over here. All right. I'm gonna pause this for a second and situate this. Okay, I had to make a little extra room for what's coming now. Holy heck, well no, I'm gonna save that one for last. All right, let's get into this one. Here's one I picked up at Blade Show 2018. The Topps El Chapo. And this thing is, look at how thick that thing is. This is an outdoorsy, chop some wood, and then go hack through a wildebeest femur. If you gotta make rudimentary weapons. Rudimentary, rudimentary. You know what I'm saying. You know what, the problem is I haven't had an energy drink. Let's throw one down here, Med Cleaver. Oh, there we go, very nice, all right. Now I sound like the bad guy from Three Musketeers. All right, there we go, El Chapo. This thing is awesome. All I had to do was get this in hand and I bought it. That's all I needed was to have it in hand. I would have bought it instead, but while I was at Blade Show, I picked it up and sell ticket. Very cool, very good for anything you need to do in the kitchen as far as chopping duties. A lot of weight, a lot of heft behind it for such a, not small, but you know, smallish type of cleaver. It's got this wide front here, and it's got a lot of clearance back here. You're never gonna chop your knuckles into the wood, which is awesome. So El Chapo by Tops. Not just one of my favorite cleavers, but one of my favorite knives all overall. A very cool cleaver and let me see if I can get this in without smacking my fingers to death El Chapo definitely way way up there on my favorite cleavers okay let's keep going here then because I got El Chapo from Topps I wanted to give the SE version of El Chapo a, a go and it this feels more like oh man this thing's a beast this thing's a beast. They had these for about a hundred and was a hundred and three dollars on Midway a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to get another one. I'm not I'm not super sold on it being used for kitchen duties unless you got some bones you need to go through. It's just kind of I don't know. Just but man, if you had this in the field out in the chopping or just look at this thing. Just it's just a monster. Just having a hand is impressive. Essie makes some really cool stuff, but this thing, it feels weapony, it feels axy, it feels like you could go through some serious bones with this. This feels like a real worker, and it's, but it's not one of my favorites for the kitchen. 
and I tried it. It was just, it's just too unwieldy. It's not, it's hard to explain. You'd have to have it in your hand. You'd understand the power of this thing. If you had it in your hand, it's something you want to just have with you for something besides chopping in the kitchen. But if you're out in the, out in the woods, out in the bush, out in the country or whatever you're doing out there, it would make, it would make sh short work of anything you wanted it to do it, from trees to brush to to any kind of food prep it, it, it would work it's just not my favorite for for different things but this thing is awesome it's so impressive <laughs> the more i picked when i first got it, i wasn't super impressed but every time i pick it up more and more but you gotta man this thing is heavy too you gotta have you gotta have the heft in this thing look at this thing oh man Oh, just awesome. I need to do a review on that all by itself. I may have already. It's good not having a memory. You can just keep redoing the same things over and over again. It's good not having a memory. You can just keep doing the same things over and over again. All right, now, I know what you're thinking. How in the world could he have saved his favorite for last? There's the Global. There's the El Chapo. You know, the Dexter and the Cold Steel. We know he loves Cold Steel. Hey, even this thing's a pretty awesome cleaver. The Wallop. What in the world can you possibly be bringing out that's better? Well, if you all are on the live stream at all, you were about to, you were about, man, what's up with my language today? It's like I had a, a mini side stroke or something. I can't think. Okay. You are about to see what, what is the big deal. <laughs> Look at the, first off the box, the cost of this thing with that box and just the presentation of this is awesome. Dow Strong does some really cool stuff. This Gladiator series stuff is inexpensive, and it's amazing. All right, you guys, get the children out of the room. Tell your wife things are about to get violent up in here, and super, super macho manliness is about to happen. Oh, and she's shaking. Look at this thing. Holy freak. Oh, my gosh. The Dallas Strong Gladiator Ravenger. Is this the Ravenger? Yeah. Oh, dead gum. Look at that thing. Can you see that? Oh, man. This thing is a beast. Look how thick that thing is. Oh, you know what? I, oh, man. I'm getting a piece of meat. I think I'm going to get a couple pieces of meat and just mow through them for you guys. Well, not for you guys. It's going to be for me, but y'all are going to get to enjoy the carnage as well. Check that thing out. Look at the wood handles. Dow Strong is doing some really cool stuff. I have a couple of their pieces, and look at that. It's all full tang. I think that's full tang, right? Yeah, it goes all the way through. Man, then in hand, it's a humongous beast. You could paddle a boat with this thing, but it also, it's fairly well balanced. Like, you could... You, you, you could sit there and do that for a while because of the momentum it would cost. Oh my gosh, this knife. This knife is giving me the vapors. Holy cow. You guys, and I think it's like $65. $65 is cheaper than that one. It's cheaper than that one. It's cheaper than that one. It's, it's like right in the middle for inexpensive on this table. So yeah, if you want something that's fun, if you want something that's gonna do work, if you want something that you're gonna just bring out and everybody's like, oh my gosh, he's gonna kill us all. If you want something that looks like it came from a horror movie, somebody said it looks like it came from Silent Hill. This is exactly what it looks like. This thing just hits all these cool buttons. I mean, the global is awesome. It is very useful in the kitchen, but this thing, this thing just says, knife dude, you know, just get it out. and. It's overkill for just about anything most people are going to have in their kitchen. But that's what's fun about it. And it's awesome. And if it's not overkill for you, say you are a butcher, you got that part of it too. I highly recommend this one. I highly recommend the Topps El Chapo. Highly recommend the Global. Highly recommend the Dexter. Highly recommend the Cold Steel. All these are knives you're going to pay. When I say highly recommend, I mean you're going to put that money out there. You're gonna get it in the mail or, or whatever, and you're not gonna feel like, oh, I shouldn't have got that. Have another look at that, children, before we put it away. Okay, you can bring the kids back in the room and tell your wife to stop crying. Okay, so if I say highly recommend, I mean you're not gonna feel bad about it. You're not gonna 
get it and wonder why. That's what this knife is. As soon as you get this thing, you're going to wonder why you didn't get another one. The Essie, if you can get a good deal on this thing, it's it's kind of like that. And if you do a lot of outdoorsy stuff, this might be a, a really cool go-to chopper type of cleaver. If, you, if you're doing a lot of chef work, you're not going to be sorry for this one. This Victorinox is a really good worker. I use it a lot. Apparently, I've dinged up that blade, so i got to fix that. Can't recommend this one. This is kind of garbagey. I haven't used this one, but for what I know about it and the way it feels in hand, it feels really useful. It's super light, so it might be good for mass chopping some bigger vegetables and stuff. But cleavers, just some of my favorite type of knives. Cleavers and choppers and big kitchen knives that look, you know, like something that something horror movie dude with, you know, leather faces chainsaw ran out of gas, so he just reaches in and he grabs the Ravenger. <laughs> You're still running from him. He don't have his chainsaw working, but he's got the Ravager. So, thing's a monster. All these cleavers, just so much fun. Cleavers are about, they're way up there on the fun scale. It's just, you can't fidget them, but they're fun to have. They're fun to have in the kitchen, and they're fun to beat on, and you just kind of get that kind of bear feel. All right, I think I've gone crazy enough. I think I'm super excited. I told you the energy drink was going to work. I told you it was going to kick in right about now. And it did. But even beside all that, I'm super excited about cleavers. I love cleavers. Just they really feed into my soul, my knife soul. So tell me what you think. What do you think about cleavers? Which one of these is your favorites? Do you have any of these? I know you have the Dexter. You know what I'm talking about, you. And do you use cleavers a lot in your kitchen? Do you use cleavers a lot out in the woods? I don't go out in the woods much, so I can't talk to that. I can just talk to how they feel in, indestructible. Let me know what you think. And keep going with the state of the collection. It seems to be going pretty good. Do me a favor. Smash the like button as many times as possible. Smash it now if you haven't smashed it. Or smash dislike if you don't. But that would hurt my feelings. You don't have to. Smash like. Subscribe here. Check all these videos out, and I will talk to you later.